Paki said discipline and order is not being upheld in police barracks nationwide and police members with their families are heavily involved in practices such as selling of betel nut despite the betel nut ban, drunk and disorderly behavior from liquor consumption and harboring of one talks resulting in overcrowding of facilities. The commissioner said Godens Barracks in Port Mosby has been the center of media scrutiny and public criticism following reports of police members allegedly confiscating betel nut from smugglers and conveying them back to the barracks to sell. You man Mary, you like Salem, kai kai blow you, you carry me to the market, the Salem, as of tomorrow, nobody will sell betel nut in this barracks nationwide. Baki said these practices have brought shame and embarrassment to the once iconic and respected policing organization, causing public confidence for the force to decline. However, the commissioner says the situation has progressed to its present state due to factors such as lack of command and control by those in charge, shortage of accommodation and a delayed pay increase. When addressing the crowd, the commissioner told the men of law that although the issues are serious and will be taken into account, police members should not see this as an excuse to allow self-discipline to erode. To ensure that good governance prevails, so that we'd like to turn this organization around so that the public can have some confidence and some respect. In addressing these issues, the commissioner said his approach stresses mainly on good governance to allow reinstatement and reinforcement of standing orders. This will mean fortnightly inspections, compulsory work parades, and firm disciplinary actions taken against those who do not abide by the law. Vanessa Knight, National MTV News.